Thank you for wanting to learn more about the Rebound Diathermy System. We are excited to share just how easy it is to use and its many benefits with you. To begin, here is a quick overview of what will be covered in this video. First, we will cover the contraindications and general warnings. I know you're eager to jump right into using the system, but it's important to start with who should and shouldn't be using Rebound. Then we'll move right into using Rebound, starting with how to use the Regenerator, then selecting the proper garment for your patient or athlete. What is tuning and how to tune the garment? Then we'll talk about what actually happens during the rebound treatment. And finally, what is rebound diathermy? For those of you who would like more information on the science and whys behind rebound, that final section is for you. Let's get started. The following is an overview of rebound's contraindications, general warnings, and precautions. For the safety of your patients, you must refer to the instructions for use for the complete list before using the rebound. This can be found in the Regenerator box or on the website, regearlife.com. Rebound is contraindicated for use in the following situations. Anyone with a cardiac pacemaker, deep brain stimulator, or spinal cord stimulator cannot receive a treatment even if the stimulator has been removed but the implanted leads are still in place. Anyone with a pacemaker must be three feet away from a person receiving a rebound treatment. Diathermy as a modality is contraindicated for use over top of metal implants. Distance greater than one inch is considered a safe distance for metal implants to be outside of the garment. For example, if your patient has a total knee replacement, but you want to treat the shoulder, that is safe. Any female who is pregnant cannot receive a treatment, but it is safe for them to administer a treatment. We recommend stepping outside the three foot radius once the treatment is started as an extra precaution. The following are the required usage guidelines for the rebound system. Anyone under the age of 18 cannot receive treatment over growth plates. All treatments must be under 35 minutes. There must be at least two hours in between each treatment to a specific area. Remove all jewelry, watches, or metallic items that are within the therapy garment or less than one inch outside of the therapy garment. There must always be a barrier between the patient and the therapy garment. This can be clothing, a towel, a stockinette, or something similar. Now let's go over when you would want to use the Rebound. Rebound is effective at treating conditions such as arthritis, back pain, chronic pain, joint contractures, soft tissue, and repetitive stress injuries. Generally, Rebound can be used in situations for which you would normally use heat or therapeutic ultrasound, as long as there are no contraindications. Rebound diathermy is able to provide both thermal and non-thermal effects. Refer to our website for additional information on the benefits of both, along with our clinical protocols for guidelines on how to adjust the regenerator to achieve optimal results for various conditions. Rebound is the perfect treatment when improving quality of life is the essential goal. The regenerator is the control unit. It uses only 35 watts of power and operates at 13.56 megahertz. To get started, plug one end of the power cord into the wall and the other end into the regenerator. Then switch the main power toggle on the side of the regenerator to the on position. Once powered on, you'll be able to hear the fan. This fan cools down the internal components of the regenerator, so it's important to always leave it clear from obstructions, which could include laying the regenerator on its back, setting it flush against the wall, or leaning it against something soft, such as a pillow. The easiest thing to do is always leave the regenerator in the upright position when it's powered on. Once the regenerator is running, you can now press the soft power button to go into ready mode. Let's review what all of the buttons on the front can do. Starting from the top left, volume. There are three setting options, high, low, and mute. We recommend leaving the volume on high as that's how the regenerator communicates with you. The continue button is the orange arrow. Anytime you need to press the continue button, the instructions will be displayed on the screen. Therapy duration. This is the timer. You are able to set a treatment anywhere from one minute up to 35 minutes. To set the time, press the button once. The timer field will become yellow, indicating that it's active. Turn the gray knob to increase or decrease the time in one minute increments. Across from the therapy duration is the intensity button. This allows you to adjust the rate and the amount of heat your patient will feel. You are able to set the intensity anywhere from 25% to 100% in five percentage increments. To set the intensity, press the button once. The intensity field will become yellow, 
indicating that it's active. Turn the gray knob to increase or decrease the intensity. Above intensity is the pause stop button. Press once to pause a treatment, press twice to stop a treatment. You would pause a treatment if you need to increase or decrease the duration or intensity. To do this, press the button once, then press the intensity or therapy duration button. Turn the gray knob to the desired setting and hit the continue button to resume. The last button is the program button. This allows you to save four of your most frequently used intensity and duration settings. For instructions on how to customize these settings, refer to page 11 in the instructions for use. To power off the Regenerator, simply press the soft power button, then switch the main power toggle to the off position. There are three types of therapy garments to choose from, cylindrical, back, and shoulder. Cylindrical therapy garments. These provide circumferential heating and are ideal for treating the limbs. To use, select the best fitting therapy garment and slide it onto the patient. A properly fitting garment should not be too tight or too loose. We recommend a minimum of a quarter inch up to approximately two inches of space on each side of the limb when inserted into the garment to ensure that the patient is comfortable and the treatment is delivered effectively. Refer to the garment sizing chart for the acceptable size ranges for each garment. Back therapy garment. This is a one size fits all flat pad that comfortably delivers deep heat to large areas of the back. This can be used in the seated or lying down positions. The Velcro strap is for convenience. It does not need to be attached. Please note that when a patient is leaning against the back garment, the foam compresses and it may feel warmer to the patient. If a patient states that it's too warm, or if you know that they are sensitive to heat, simply reduce the intensity. Shoulder Therapy Garment. This is a one-size-fits-all garment used for both the right and left shoulder. To use, place the garment on the patient's shoulder, then attach the Velcro underneath the opposite shoulder. This does not need to be tight, just secure. Additional uses for the shoulder garment include using it like a boot to treat issues with the foot, such as plantar fasciitis, or using it to treat limbs that cannot be straightened enough to fit into a cylindrical therapy garment. Once the appropriate garment is selected, attach it to the regenerator. Firmly push the connector on the garment into the cable connector on the regenerator and turn clockwise until it locks into place. Cleaning the garments. It is recommended to clean the therapy garments in between uses. Simply wipe down with an antibacterial wipe or spray. Additionally, the fabric contains an antimicrobial agent that helps to prevent the buildup of fungus or bacteria. Do not place the therapy garment in the washing machine. Once the therapy garment is attached to the regenerator and on the patient, get them into a position that they will be in for the remainder of the treatment. Make sure they are comfortable. Then press the continue button to begin tuning. Tuning makes sure the regenerator is communicating with your patient. It looks at the resistance created by soft tissue, which includes blood, muscle, hydration, and fat. It uses that information to customize the therapy specifically so it will penetrate the superficial layers and reach deep into the tissue to provide the most effective treatment. Once you press the continue button, you'll be on the tuning screen and adjust tuning will be displayed along with the bar graph that starts out red and progresses to dark green. Your goal is to get the indicator bar as far into the green as possible. To do this, start turning the black knob on the garment. Each knob can be turned a total of either 10 or 3 times, depending upon the garment you received. So the best option is to pick a direction, right or left, and start turning it until the garment is in tune or the knob stops turning. If you get to the point where the knob won't turn anymore, start turning it in the opposite direction until it is in tune. Once the screen displays in tune, continue to turn the knob until the indicator bar is as far right as possible. If you find that you are in tune, but the indicator bar is just barely over the line into the green box and turning the knob isn't improving the position of the bar, try the following tips to get an even better tune. Change the person's position slightly. Move the garment up and down. Twist the garment right and left. Once the patient is in tune, press the continue button to begin therapy. When you are in tune, an optimal transfer of energy occurs between the regenerator and the patient, allowing therapy to begin. An electromagnetic field is created between the patient and the coils inside of the therapy garment. And that specific field is now set to work with the regenerator. 
This is important because if the field changes, the garment will go out of tune. The specific field can change for a few reasons. If the patient adjusts their position, such as bending or straightening a limb, or changing the amount of pressure against the garment, such as leaning forward or leaning against the back garment. When the person changes position, the coils inside the garment are moved. This is ultimately what causes the field to change. The field can also change naturally from the relaxation of muscles and the increase of blood flow resulting from the treatment. In either situation, if the garment goes out of tune, either move the patient back to the original position or simply adjust the tuning knob to get them back into tune. Once the therapy is started, your patient should start to feel the heat within the first 30 seconds. Some people will feel it almost right away, but this will vary depending upon the thickness of the layer between the therapy garment and skin, as well as the intensity level. Remember, the heat should always be gentle, comfortable, and soothing, like being in the sun. If at any point in time the patient feels it's too warm, just pause the treatment, press the intensity button, decrease the intensity by 20%, then press the continue button to resume. Once the therapy is complete, press the continue button to get back to the ready screen. It can now be used on the next patient. When you're finished using it for the day, simply press the soft power button, then switch the power toggle to the off position for storage. What is rebound diathermy? Diathermy literally means to heat through. Rebound uses radio frequency to create an electromagnetic field. This field passes into the body, oscillates ions, and causes friction. This friction is not only what creates heat below the surface of the skin, but additional thermal and non-thermal effects as well. Anytime rebound is applied, the recipient will receive non-thermal effects. It's only when a higher amount of energy is absorbed into the body that the recipient also receives the thermal effects. The higher the intensity level on the regenerator, the more energy will be absorbed. Rebound can raise tissue temperature in a patient into the therapeutic heating range of 100 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit, up to four centimeters below the surface. At 100% intensity, temperature will increase at a rate of one degree approximately every two to three minutes, getting the patient into the therapeutic heating range in approximately eight minutes. In addition to the physiological benefits occurring inside the body during a rebound treatment, your patient will actually be able to notice a decrease in their pain, an increase in their flexibility and mobility, and their muscles will start to relax. The lasting effects will help you perform future manual therapies with even better results. That wraps up this training session. Have you already started thinking about which of your patients can benefit from Rebound? Now's the perfect time to get started. We encourage you to try it on yourself to personally experience the heat and understand what your patients are going to feel. Please contact customer support with additional questions at 888-573-4327 or visit our website, regearlife.com, for the most up-to-date Rebound information.